Shanson, what are you doing on the bus? You're never here. Oh, you know, just looking to spend a little bit of time with all my friends before I move on. Move on? What do you mean? I got some awful news from the doctor the other day. It turns out I have severe lung failure. What? Do you have any last wishes? <coughs> I <coughs> wish I knew more <coughs> about <coughs> Emmanuel Kant. That's perfect. I actually paid attention in AP Hero this year. <coughs> no, you didn't. <coughs> I'll show you my project. Immanuel Kant was an 18th century philosopher from Prussia who was most notable for his work on ethics. His three major works explaining his philosophical views are called critiques. There were two general schools of thought at the time. Consequentialism, which believed right and wrong was based on the action's consequence, and deontology, which believed it was their duty to always obey moral rules, regardless of the outcome. Kant himself was a deontologist. Kant wanted to get rid of the subjectivity of morality that existed at the time, so he created the categorical imperative. The categorical imperative was a universal code of moral law that was held to be true regardless of the situation. The categorical imperative was divided into three maxims. The first maxim was universality. This meant the action would only be acceptable if you would be okay with a world where every single person did this action. The second maxim was that people must be treated as the end, as opposed to the means to the end. This meant it was wrong to manipulate others under any circumstance, no matter what. The third maxim was to act as though you were the greatest moral authority. Kant was a transcendental idealist. This meant that he held the belief that we can never truly experience what is happening because we are experiencing a version of it that's filtered through by our mind. 